The end of the school year is fast approaching and many students are dreaming of big summer plans. But for students in West Suburban Lombard, their thoughts and prayers are with four classmates burned in a bonfire accident last month. CBS 2's Mai Martinez talked with one of the victims about her road to recovery. It just happened so quickly, no one like could stop it. Corinne Bachner will never forget the April 28th bonfire explosion that severely burned her and three of her friends. Neither will her mother, who got the frightening phone call from her daughter. She was telling us that there had been an accident and there was gasoline poured on the fire and she was burnt. I didn't realize how bad it was until I got in the ambulance, I think, because then I started to kind of feel the swelling and I was really, really cold. Bachner and her friends were all rushed to the hospital. GoFundMe pages were set up to help them and the donations have been pouring in. I want to say thank you, but that's not enough. I wish there was something else I could say to make it mean something besides just thank you. Friends have also done their best to support Corinne emotionally. Oh, hello. How are you? Good. From stopping by to giving her an autographed game ball and taking a team picture with her. Some friends even brought prom to her house because she couldn't attend. What did that mean for you that they brought prom to you because you couldn't go? Uh, it was special. It made me feel better that they wanted me to be happy and like feel like I had my own prom. Has this made you a stronger person? Yeah, I think so. Corinne is a proud Glen Bar East cheerleader and was even at cheer practice today. She's not allowed to cheer but wanted to support her squad. She also attended this evening's baseball game. Erica, she and her family know how fortunate they are that she is able to do these things because two of her friends are still in the hospital. She's supported by so many that she knows, her family, her friends, but even strangers are touched by her she story. She is quite the inspiration. Her mother was sending us these pictures, texting us to us, and was off by one digit on my cell phone. So they went to a stranger who called her mom and said, I don't know who the girl in the picture is or what happened to her, but she is such an inspiration. And you can just see the way that she's persevered. It's really inspiring to a lot of people. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mai. You're welcome.